Let's take a closer look at the uh, state machine here. And um, I made a nice little uh, documentation down here um, about two-phase clocks and what I want my from and my to pulse to look like. And we just saw that on the oscilloscope. The from pulse asserts low, and then the to pulse asserts low. So these should really be uh, not from pulse and not to pulse. Um, but we haven't really addressed the counting of this thing. So remember, the state machine is cycling through 16 different instructions. So the way it works is that you load an instruction into the instruction register. That addresses the ROM. And that sets the base address, A11 through A14. And then the bottom four bits are done with a counter. And then you go from 0 to 15. And then you're done with that instruction. So the very last instruction uh, would be a um, uh, or maybe the very first instruction is something like an increment uh, program counter. And then the program counter uh, would move to the RAM address. And then that would fetch something out of RAM and would throw it into the instruction register. That kind, of, that kind of starts things off and then you cycle through things. So anyway, the way that this works is that you want to uh, uh, have the uh, counter um, increment and that would bring you to a new microcode. And then after you increment the counter, you then you want to execute a from pulse and a to pulse. So the count, the increment of the counter needs to happen before uh, the uh, execution of the from pulse to pulse. So if we take a look at our um, little thing here, uh, our from pulse goes down and then uh, asserts, and then we have a two pulse. So we really could um, count on either this edge or this edge. Um, nothing's really going on there. I guess I guess it makes sense to count on the rising edge of the from pulse or the not not from pulse. Um, the um, clock of a uh, LS163. Uh, let's take a look at that. Let's look at, take, I have a data sheet here. Let's take a look at that. So, um, can I ink? Let's see here. Can I, yeah, let's make this bigger. Okay. So there are some, uh, there's a clear that sets things to zero. There's a load that sets things from the data inputs. Those are both low going things. Um, and then here's the clock that makes it count. And they show transitions here on the rising edge of the clock pulse. So that's when the thing actually counts. So um, if we go back to the um, schematic. Um, oops. Yeah, so I think that's what we want to do here. Uh, we probably should add that to the documentation here. Let's, while we're here, let's go ahead and do that. Let's, um, oops, let's move this down a bit, give me some room. Just a little bit. All right. And then I'm going to show that here on the rising edge. Um, okay, and this will be clock. And we need to somehow mark that the clock, let's see, can I? There we 
there. I kind of like that. We can show that we are clocking on the rising edge. Um, so uh, that is actually an input. If you see here, um, here are things that come into that uh, card. I need to supply a from pulse and a to pulse. That comes from our clock generator. Uh, instruction right comes from the state machine. The clock is now this uh, here. So I guess we can call it clock. Uh, okay, clock. And there's a reset. Um, let's take a look at reset. I think reset is a not reset. Um, reset. I guess they call it clear here. Not clear. Uh, let's see what pin is that. Pin two is clock and one is clear. Okay. Um, and pin two is clock and pin one is what I call resets. Like they call it clear. Okay, CLR. So it's, that's a not going pulse though. So under normal conditions, we're just gonna leave that one high. All right, so uh, just you, we will reuse the from pulse signal and run that into the clock. And that's what I have it running right now. I have a, I have a little jumper between these two. It's not very elegant. I need to wire that in better, um, but we have that going on. The other thing that I need to add is the carry into the ALU and the carry in from the ALU I want to bring in um, I want to bring in A4. So all of the odd instructions uh, will have carry set and all of the even instructions will have carry cleared. And I can just wire it. I don't really have a, let's see, I don't think I have a, uh... oh, carry in to ALU. I do have, ah, I do have something. Oh, let's take a look at that. Interesting, I forgot about that. Um, I'm so clever. Where did I put that? <laughs> uh, let's see. That is going to come off of, well, it's called J5. So let's look for J5. Um, J6, J5. Hmm. Hmm. Where did I put that? Oh, carry. Oh, carry. Hmm, let's take a look at that. It might not have got an got an J5. Oh, I do have J5. Oh dear, I don't think that got routed. Let's turn on all layers. And, oh no, it did. Carry is routed. So carry goes to pin let's see this is a two four six eight ten it's a 20 pin device so it goes to pin 19 of the latch let's go look at that pin 19 on the latch is yes is that so okay so carry in oh i did route it out very nice okay so i need to run this carry in to the ALU. Uh, I was thinking ahead. Good, we have that done. I'll wire this in and uh, we should be ready to go. I think everything else, I think everything else is okay on this board. Great.